Hello programmers! In my C++ class, I end up t getting a bunch of students who have taken a C programming class before and they need to learn how to go from C to C++. There's a lot of overlap, so a lot of what you learned in the C class will work just fine in C++. But let's talk about some of the differences that you would see in a Hello World type of program. So this is a C program. We're including standard io.h and printing have a great day. And when I run this, I'm going to see have a great day. In C++, there is a small change we could make to this pound include statement. In C++, all of the headers from C are wrapped and we can include the C standard IO without a dot H and this will compile and run and you'll get exactly the same answer. But in C++, there is another command we can use to print to the screen other than printf and we're going to use that by including a different header IO stream short for input and output stream and I'm also going to use a line using namespace std and I have a whole video on what that exactly means but for now let's just include these two lines in our program and instead of printf we can do a command c out and lesson lesson insertion operator is the, the proper name for this lesson lesson but in the first week of class I just say lesson lesson and we can do our hello world statement here and instead of a backslash n what we can do is an end l and that's exactly the same as a backslash n so let's go ahead and compile that and run it and we see that we've got two print statements, one with the C style printf and the other with hello world that was with C out instead. All right, we've printed to the screen. What about reading input from the user? Well, here's how we would do it in our C programming class. We'd first prompt the user, maybe enter a number. Then we'd need to have somewhere to store that resulting number. And it was a good practice in C to define all of our variables at the top of the program. We're going to say we have a variable x that's an int and we'll go ahead and read into that with a scan f and we're going to use these weird percent d's or percent f's depending on if we want a floating point or an integer that we're reading into or percent c for character percent s for string or array of characters and we'll store it at the address of this variable. So a couple difficult things to work with. Um, Visual Studio has a different version of ScanF, which is a safer version of ScanF. So the things I don't like about ScanF is this percent %d, it's kind of confusing to students when they first learn it, and the fact that you're dealing with the address, the ampersand um, of x. So that's confusing when you first see that. And let's print out the answer, whatever the user entered, you entered, and then we've got that percent D again that people get confused about and then we've got our variable. So let's compile this one and run it and see what happens. So I've got my two print statements and then it waits for me to enter in a number. I'll enter an 8 and then it parrots back to me you entered 8. So the C++ way of doing this would be instead of printf, we already talked about how you would change that to C out and in here I don't need an endl if I want it to stay on the same line. And now if I want to read in from the user, I'm going to use cn, and I'm going to have the arrows pointing toward the variable where I want to store whatever the user types in. So the user types in a number, it'll be stored in this variable x. And here, let's take a look at the cout statement. So the exciting thing here is that we can combine strings with integers with and l all in the same line so we'll just put an extra insertion operator that's the less than less than in between every distinct thing that we want to print out so we've got our string followed by whatever's in this variable followed by the new line character and if we run that we're going to see exactly the same result so i'll enter in a different number this time maybe seven and you entered seven all right, so C++ and C, lots of similarities. Everything you learned in C mostly is going to be available in C++, but C++ also has some new commands. And thank you for watching. We'll have more videos soon.